Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and a continuation of the Guinevere project. So the Guinevere was an album that I created alongside the Cool Cats. And there's a kit available if you'd like to purchase, which has got the cover spines all cut for you. It's got the frame tape to construct it and some written instructions and acetate and things. So you've got everything ready to go. Just add your cardstock and papers. So if you want to have a look at the start of the Guinevere project, the easiest thing to do is to head to the top of my channel and find the playlists and you'll find all the Guinevere videos in one place. So this is now the second of the decorating pages uh, videos. No, it's not. It's the third one. The first one is the second of the pages. Yes, but we did one with the cover and page one. Then we moved on to page two, where we had a swivel closure. And as you can see, I still haven't let this dry long enough to do the closure, but these were my slider pages. So that was one, two, three. So we've got page four. So I'm just gonna take my sliders out. So I've got a flatter pocket and page five, ready to go. So if you saw in the um, beginning, I put some numbers on these with some arrows to show me which page, which way up, so I don't do my albums upside down. So pages three and four were quite complex uh, speaking. So what we're gonna do is just have a breather page. And what we're gonna do is just have the same thing on each side. And it's just a couple of pockets. So you've got room then for some photo mats behind there. You've got room for photo mats behind there, here and here. But also we've got, let me grab one of my desire papers. We've got some tuck spots there and room for three by four photos. So if you've got some really nice papers, these photo slots are perfect because they offer you a place for photo, but you can also take them out to have some space for seeing the papers. So there we go, let's put these away and let's have a think about what we need. So let's put our pages to the side, four and five. And grab some of my cardstock and my trimmer. And we're gonna start off by cutting a pocket. Oh, let's cut it at six and a quarter. A uh, seven and a quarter, sorry, seven and a quarter and we're going to do it at six and a half and five. So those are the two pockets for one side. And you see we got it from one sheet of cardstock. And the next one is exactly the same. So seven and a quarters by six and a half. and five. This is, okay. and bring, back. so we've got four pockets here. Let's just grab our scoreboard. And each time we're gonna put the seven and a quarter on the top and we're gonna score at half an inch Rotate it and do half an inch the other side as well. And then the shorter edge across the top. So in this case, it's the six and a half. Score at half as well. So this time, so seven and a quarter. We do the rotation. Then the shorter edge at the top, half. So that's my shorter edge. So I'm going to just do my half bit. My seven and a quarter is half and rotate half. And again, seven and a quarter on the top half, rotate it half, short edge at top, half. I went through that, through that quite quick. <laughs> okay. There's nothing more than what we've done on the other pages with our pockets. It's exactly the same. So now we're gonna do our taping. So as we've done every other time, it goes in that half inch channel 
just down the centre of it, and then between the two score lines on the longer piece. So down the long bit between the score lines and the last one. Now we're just going to do some of our mitres. So we're going to cut to that cross and angle our scissors just so that when we turn them over, they don't um, overlap and we have too much bulk in that corner. So just doing that slight angle does help reducing the bulk across our album. That's the thing with these pages, that's easy to do because you're doing the same technique four times. But they're not the most interesting to watch then when you see me do the same things four times. There we go. And now, we're just going to fold back those bits. I'm going to try and get them as flat as we can. So if you remember from all the other pages, the more we burnish, the flatter it gets, the flatter our pockets will become. On this side as well. And the second one. And then from the other side as well. What's really good about this Teflon tool is it doesn't mark on black cardstock, so you can really press hard and get those sharp edges without worrying about getting those silver marks, if you've ever had them, when using your plastic ones. And last one. And now we've got two to go on the left. So they open this side. So our tape is on the right. And these ones need to go that way. So I'm going to start off just by putting a small one on top of a big one. I'm going to risk it this time. I'm just going to take it all off. Now, this is the open edge here. So I have that facing me. The open edge of the top one facing me. And let's just risk it and go for it, is it? And now let's squeeze it down. We're going to expose a little bit of our tape just by pulling it back and folding it at 45 degrees. Up. That means now this bit is tacky, this bit isn't. So if I need to adjust it, I can before it sticks. If you don't want your photo mats to catch, what you can do, because this tape comes in the kit, this is the black tiger tape. By cool cats it's just um a paper type tape and it just means that it'll run over that rather than um catching underneath if i just left it as it was and then once i'm happy it's all flat i can just pull out that exposed paper or exposed tape and down it goes i'm just going to repeat the same Let's risk it again. Open edge is facing me. Open edge is facing me. 
So my tape is that side, the tape is that side. Let's line it up in those corners. Add some tiger tape. And now fold back some of that back in. So I'm lining up these bits because there's no um, tape exposed there. So I can wiggle it a little bit until I get it just where I want it and pull it out. Get exactly where I want it and pull it out. So now we've got four pockets uh, facing away from each other. So this is number four pointing up. And we're just going to repeat it again. So I want the hinge side, this side on my left hand side page. We'll do exactly the same, tie the tape. You see why this is called a breather page because you just go into an automatic way and it comes together so quick. It just gives you a breather in the middle of the album. Thank you, Kane Maggie, for the breather uh, page idea. Now, remember, on number four, you have got your extra depth from page three. So just be careful when you're squashing it down. And on number five, we want the pockets open this way. So let's turn it that way. And some tape. And expose a little bit. And fold it up. I suppose it could be quite nice to do an album with just pockets like this and just have different um, photo books of photo wallets inside all the different places, that'd be quite nice as well. So you could just fill up a Guinevere like this. So this is number five. This is number four. So now it's time to decorate. Now, this is longer than 12 inches. So I can't have an image that goes all the way across. But you could do the four inside ones and then have a patterned paper on each side. Or, Another tip is, if you've got one with a nice border on the top, but it works if you turn it that way. So if I find another one, this wouldn't be no good. Even though I've got a nice border, as soon as I turn it this way, my notes are going the wrong way. So you want one with a nice border, so that could work. But I want a big go. Well, let's have a look. Yes, I think this one could work nicely because I can cut it down this way. Use this, this side, and this, this side. So that's why it can't be directional. So let's have a look. That's a bit close there. So let's have a bit. Yeah, I'm going to cut a bit off that. I'm going to use this one. So our pages are eight inches, so a quarter of an inch less is seven and three quarters. So I'm going to cut this now. Actually, I wanted to take away a bit of this, didn't I? So let's cut it at that border. And now we'll do... seven three quarters and then turn it this way and we've got six so that was the way our paper was but we're going to be using it like that 
So let's have a look here. So this one is going to mat in layer there. And this one is going to mat in layer here. So start with the left hand side. I'm going to have this pocket is four and a half. So make sure I turn it round. So that's four and a half. Then this pocket was one and a half. So I'm going to cut off one and a half and leave that bit like that. So now when we come to do this, it's going to look like that. Oh, I think I've done a wrong measurement. I'll be able to fix that. No. Yes, I did. I forgot to take a quarter of an inch, didn't I? Four and a quarter. I did it at four and a half. To tell you what I'll do. I'll be able to fix that in a second. I'll show you how in a bit. So same measurements, but this time, please do it at four and a quarter. Then it was double checking everything now. One and a half. And there we go. Right. Had to be one mistake somewhere, didn't it? So what I'm going to do here is, rather than tuck this under, I'm going to bring it all the way up to the edge, and this one all the way up to the edge. And hopefully you won't be able to tell much difference. So this is page five, so it's going to go that way, that way, okay, it's going to tuck in that time, and there. There you are, that seems to have worked well. So we've got these two large panels here. Now, months ago, I did a video, which you can find called my top five cool cats dies to get. And number one were photo slot dies. Now photo slot dies are dies which have four corners like this. That's all this die does is cuts the four corners in a nice curve. But what that allows is for a photo to slide under each of the corners. So you can take it out, put it back in and swap them around. But you also get photo mats, which cut out a piece of cardstock then with a nice stitched edge, which you can put your photos on. And the reason these are so good is they're actually for standard size photos. So this is for a three by four photo. And you can get a six by four, a five by seven, four by four. So if you like Instagram photos, lots of different ways. So I'm going to cut the slots into these big panels. But it left me with a space underneath. So what I thought I'd do is take another of these slots, which I've used on the other pages, and place it underneath. So let me just take that on and get some more. There we go. And I'm going to cut them at the same time. So I'm sending through my die cutting machine. So I'm using a um, Spellbinders um, Platinum 6, so any machine where you're using your thin dies will work with these. Let me just poke this out, and because I've used enough tape, I don't have to realign. I'm just going to put them straight on. Let's 
actually, let me have a look. Did I get them sort of the same height? So those top ones, you probably don't even think anything's happened, but it has, and I'll show you in a second. Ooh, that one's a bit wonky. I, mean, I probably should have used a ruler. So let's just start inking up. So we're going to ink all around the big bits. And on the small bits, only the three edges, which you'll be able to see, need the ink. Save a bit of the ink, save a bit of the time. And on these ones. back on. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your photo mat one and as I said earlier you get some nice stitching on the edge and you're going to put these inside your photo slots. So that's just going to train your paper whilst it's drying, to be a bit raised, ready for doing this. If you didn't do this, your paper might end up being stuck a bit flat and you won't be able to get um, a photo in. Right, I'm only worry, um, thinking a bit more here because I cut that wrong. So when I take my glue, I'm gonna avoid where those black corners are. Hard to see now because I've got a black card on the back, black paper, sorry and down the edge. I don't want it here, otherwise I won't be able to tuck anything into my photo slot, but I do want it above. So let's glue that down. And the same on this side. So right around the edge, staying away from those uh, black pieces of cardboard sticking through and along the top of that edge. This side is the side I did correct. He was shouting at me when I was cutting it the wrong size. But no, you haven't taken a quarter of an inch away. So I'm just gonna glue this. Now, if it was a bit short, I wouldn't worry too much. What I could always do is add a little bit of this strip here to move it along a bit. I'm sure I'd be able to work out something, but it seems to have worked out okay. It's just not gonna be tucking under like this side is. So I'm gonna bring it right to the edge. Oh, it is gonna tuck a little bit. But I'm gonna take it to the edge of my cardstock there. There we go. And then this side, I'm going to stick it down. And you can't tell the difference. Well, I don't think you can, can you? So there we go. That now, once dried, is page uh, four and five with our... Just Sure, that's a deal down with our large pockets with a little tuck spot with those slotted dies and a room for our six by four photo to go in there. 
So thank you for joining me in my next step of the Guinevere album. That was meant to be the easy one and typical I messed it up. If you did enjoy it though, mistakes and all, uh, please give it a thumbs up and a comment below. I'd love to hear what you're thinking of it and of this series and how you're enjoying your Guinevere uh, book. Um, if you do have a go at this as a whole or any part of it, please share with me in my Facebook group, Paper Crafting with Paul. Just put it into a Facebook search or I'll add a link in the description below for you to find it nice and easily. And also head over to Cool Cats Shop and their Facebook page called Cool Cats and you'll find lots more ideas, lots more dyes, lots more products and lots more page ideas on their YouTube channel too. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. It really does mean a lot. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video to see what happens on page six and maybe page seven too. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Thank you.